some of you guys have seen it but Suprema releasing this amazing box work to celebrate 25th anniversary which I wasn't aware of what that was which is fucking nuts isn't it? which means that 25th, the 25th anniversary t-shirt that came out a while back that felt like just yesterday isn't it time has gone by like a fucking flash crazy anyway so Suprema announced the news um, the other day about their 25th anniversary uh, shirt that they're putting out which is here on the screen modelled by the great Larry Clark who was the director for Kids, the seminal movie that sort of kind of, you know, uh, spoke to or inspired um, Supreme. Um, 25th anniversary of Supreme anniversary. In April 1994, Supreme opened its doors to Lafayette in the Lafayette Street uh, uh, in downtown Manhattan, becoming the home of New York skate culture, which is, you know, it's, it's a fucking humble brag, but it's super true. At its core was a group of neighborhood kids, skaters and local artists who came who became the store's staff, crew, and customers. Over 25 years, Supreme has expanded from its New York City origins into a global community with 11 stores around worldwide and an even larger network of friends and family that make up the fabric of the brand, which is incredible, right? And that's the that's really the model that most kind of uh, brands, whether they be fashion, whether they be design, uh, whether they be streetwear, that's the model that everyone's trying to copy, right? This Supreme model of somehow taking these, or somehow putting a... Sp- to put in a store, put in a brand in amongst this local community or plug it into a local community, allowing that local community to, you know, contribute to it, to give and to kind of add to it, take it away, reinterpret it in their own way, and then let it kind of um, grow from there. It's all like similar to the uh, the Toby Feltwell from CE, from Cave Vent quote that he said the other day on that interview from K- um, GQ. He mentioned something along the lines of like, it's not just the brand owner that makes the brand. It's a, it's a it's a two way conversation between the brand and the customers, right? It's a constant conversation, and the brand sort of evolves. So it starts off as one thing, and over time, it sort of evolves into this other thing through various bits of dialogue, whether it's from buying patterns, whether it's stuff that people say to you on social media, emails, whatever it may be, stuff that you see when you go out. It's all kind of a big conversation. I think Supreme's been really good at doing that, and again, I think. Why they've been able to kill it over these years, 25 years, is the fact that they've kept things so in-house, even from hiring, right? You never see a Supreme job advertisement on job boards. Everything's done in-house. I know of a couple of people that work at Supreme and all the jobs that come, um, all the jobs that are available are only kind of given to people in and around the Supreme network who kind of get it. And the reason why they do that is because you kind of keep that, you keep the, you keep the company obviously uh, lean and efficient. But the main important thing about it is that the people that you're bringing in, they get the brand. They don't need to be, you know, given a deck. They don't need to be given in an induction or training or whatever. They understand what the brand is and they immediately can just plug into it and then uh, be able to give their input, their interpretation of what the brand means to them, right? So I'm sure the people that work at the Supreme Store in Paris have a different kind of vision of what Supreme is to them in their in, um, in their habitat. But again, it all kind of relates back to the DNA of Supreme that started off in that little Lafayette Street in downtown Manhattan. It's a fucking brilliant brand. One of the, one of the brands I think doesn't get enough props as it should do. And I think 25 years years in anything is something that shouldn't be like laughed it's something that shouldn't be overlooked so doing something for 25 years consistently and with having this level of demand and they're still opening more stores and there's rumors of them opening more stores around the world coming up very soon it's just insane what they're doing now insane um anyway it continues uh to commemorate its 25th it's 25 years supreme will release a swarovski crystal box logo t-shirt of course they are hoodie sweatshirt uh, and hoodie sweatshirt hoodie sweatshirt uh, features 1002 one the hoodie 1201 swarovski crystals and a t-shirt features 1061 i wonder why there's more crystals on the sweatshirt than there is on a t-shirt when this box logo usually is the same size is it because of the fabric of the t-shirt right i'm assuming that the cotton and then the the material of the hoodie maybe it doesn't you have to maybe put more crystals on the hoodie because maybe it doesn't spread out as much or whatever or there's too much give and stretch maybe i don't know right would the, is a the hoodie there'll be too much i don't know i wonder why there's more crystals on the hoodie. anyway it doesn't matter uh continue crystals are applied by hand in new york city wow available in store in new york city brooklyn la london paris and online april 25th which is today available in japan uh, on april 27th and I'll show you the pictures of it. I'm sure some of you have seen it already, but let's look at them anyway. You got here the great Larry Clark modeling a t shirt. It looks fucking awesome, doesn't it? Like, oh, so good. There's the box logo t shirt. Wow, in the classic gray. That is incredible, isn't it? Really fucking nice, man. I wonder what's gonna feel to that's gonna be so hype. It's gonna they're gonna resell for bazillions. I think they're like 360, something like that, right? 
or 400 I think I saw the prices on the Supreme League thing you got a navy too navy blue a red box logo the all red just the classic colorways really the white the, the white t-shirt with the with the salty crystals the one that's probably the best one i think i think that's the that's the most ballless one i'd love that i'd i'd be all over that man oh that is looks so beautiful get that slightly oversized or maybe two sides and then have it tucked into a pair of nice chinos oh that would look so good man so fucking good so yeah, that's coming out. Check it out. Check it in. Supreme 25th anniversary t-shirt, Swarovski crystals, all applied by hand in New York. Obviously, you know, the connection. Okay, they just get it, you know? Swarovski crystals, you know, very, very, um, what you call it? Uh, you can associate that strongly with um, New York City, especially if you're a fan of Dipset from the early 2000 eras or even going back to the 90s era. Then you, then you get the box logo. Then you get the classic colorways. Then you get it all applied by hand. It's just like, you know, they get it. They just understand this shit, you know, like no one other, man. Like Supreme are the su Supreme, are, Supreme are Supreme, man. That's, that's basically it, man. Easy, the best streetwear brand in the world. Even now, with all the fucking brands out there, like everyone's kind of following the footsteps of Supreme. It's just fucking incredible to see, really. I'm, I'm such a fan. Such, such a fan. And again, I just got so much, just some huge bits of respect for them, man. Imagine doing this for 25 years and doing it that well. It's like, wow.